Hi everyone, it's Chloe and in today's video I'm going to be filming the makeup look that I wore for Summer in the City. Um, loads of people were asking me when I was there like what I was wearing and stuff and I got quite a few comments on my makeup so I was like, you know what? Best way to do is just to recreate it. So this is today's video is. It was quite simple, not very like um, extravagant or anything. So this was it. And I'm not going to do much rambling because I know you want to see the video and this is a chatty kind of video. So I'm not going to ramble in the intro, but let's just get into it. I'm going to be using the Garnier like, Hydrating Moisturiser. Look how it's positioned right now. Right, that's going to do. So I've just moisturised my face um, and I've changed the colour a lot. So now I'm going to prime my face and I was at some of the city yesterday. Um, that's basically why I'm recreating this makeup look. And products that I received there was a primer and it's a Winter Wonderland primer. Um, I'll have the web website linked down below. It was like a really nice makeup brand. It looks so good. So this is a primer, it's a studio finish primer. I'm actually kind of like kind of testing it. So let's see what it's like. It reminds of the Smashbox one, which I want so badly. Um, and Emily's actually got the Smashbox one, and I love it. So let's see if it's similar. The consistency and everything is the same. Oh my god, the house phone's ringing. It also hasn't been straight in since before so in the city, and it's like frizzy now. So that primer was so soft on my face. Right, so I like to do foundation first. The foundation I like to use, I've actually just unpacked this that I took down to Summer in the City because I took all my makeup in this bag. It's from Primark, if you're wondering. And I actually do my makeup in the car. So when everyone was complimenting my makeup, I was like, oh my god, thanks so much because you've got no idea how hard it is to draw on eyebrows in a moving vehicle when you're bumping all over the road. Number seven, Airbrush Away Foundation. I use this in nearly every video. And then I use the Real Techniques brush. So I thought I would do a chatty kind of video. I've just realised I haven't even got a mirror. Oh, I'm so prepared. I'm going to use the viewfinder. <laughs> um, I wanted to do like a chatty video because I think I've got quite a bit to talk about. Um, I've got no idea how this is going to go up. I haven't sat down and filmed a main channel video in so long. And that's why I really wanted to do one because... Obviously, my channel is like makeup and beauty, um, but it's turning more a lot into lifestyle lately purely because it's been the holidays, I've been vlogging loads, and I literally don't remember the last time I sat down to film a video. So I was like, I'm going to today because I haven't done makeup in ages on camera. I'm just going to grab a mirror. I could use this. I got this from um, Broadband TV. I was on the art wave yesterday. Um, that's cool, not too bad. What was I even saying? This video is going to be so hard to edit. I've just put my mirror on over there because I think it looks better. Basically, as you know, I haven't been sitting on video in ages. And I might as well literally be a daily vlogger the way I'm going at the minute. <laughs> I've been, like, obviously not vlogging daily. But the amount of vlogs I've been doing, well, I might as well just create a vlog channel. I've been deciding now that I do that. But I like having all my content on one channel. I just feel like, why well, have two channels? Just put all your content on one channel. Like, fair enough. I don't know, that's just how I feel personally. Let me know in the comments if you do want us to make a vlog channel or if you just prefer to put them on this channel because I just prefer them being on this channel. We'll like go with that. I've also still got all my wristbands on. Oh, I miss it so much. I just want to do it all over again. I met some absolutely amazing people there. Um, I met loads of you. If you did, come and say hi. Thanks so much because it like made my day. Can I just say, I'm getting a bit worried because I've had this cold since before exams and I've still got it so it's worrying is um, I'm using the Anastasia dip brow pomade in soft brown and I'm just using the Anastasia brush also oh my god the writing's women off it's currently Sunday when I'm filming this and me and Emily are going on holiday on Saturday I can't wait we're going to Greece by ourselves and it's just going to be I can't talk right there so it took me like half an hour yesterday to do my eyebrows in the car and then I also carve my eyebrows out so I don't mind if it's a bit patchy or anything. Not patchy, a bit. What's the word? Not neat. I don't know. Do you know, it was so insane. Um, oh, shoot, I'm not going to start talking top of my eyebrow. <laughs> Lisa had an excuse yesterday my eyebrows are bad. Today I don't. Not going to lie though, my eyebrows are different every day. Right, so I'm now going to like carve them out and shape them a bit more. It's getting really, really bright, isn't it? I know. I used the Zoeva brush M226 
and the concealer that I like to use, right it's gone really bright, that's a bit better, the concealer that I like to use is the collection one in Fair and I've literally got like none left but I've got another one in my drawer, um, I'm just coming about to go get it so I'm going to see how much left I can scrape out of this. I literally can't scrape anything, I'm going to have to go get it. I've always got to be stocked up on this concealer for emergencies like this. To do, it's getting really hot in my room, I'm going to push my window open a bit more. I do this eye makeup a lot, I was going to do a different one, um, but I thought I'm, I'll do the one that I wore for some in the city. So I'm taking the 228 Lux Crease Brush, sorry for the bright lighting keeps changing, um, I use natural lighting. Um, and I'm taking the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia and I'm taking Raw Sienna and I'm putting that in my crease. Oh my god, eye primer. Oh my god, it's at the bottom. Nightmare. Right, I'm just using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and I'll just use my fingers to blend this in because I'm not put that professional. I didn't actually wear lashes for some in the city because I did forget them. Well, I forgot about them, but I don't think I would have wore them even if I did remember because putting them on in the car and then you've got the risk of them like hanging off and stuff. And when you're out all day, I don't really want the hassle of thinking about lashes, so I just didn't wear any. I just wore a bit of mascara. You know, it was just so weird because like you'd walk into the exhibition hall or whatever it's called, and people like John Chapman were just standing getting photos. By the way, he is so unreal, just saying. Oh my god, I'm forgetting to do loads of things I haven't set my eyebrows. So going in with a colour that has a bit more of an orangey undertone, being orange. Um, just the same brush, but putting it more in my crease, just to darken up the... Um, just to darken up my crease. I'm just going to be taking the Collection Colour Lash. And um, this is just a clear mascara that I use because I think it works amazingly. I've also got back to school videos coming and um, so far planned I have got a back to school fashion like haul because I'm going into sixth form so I don't have to wear a uniform anymore um, and then I've also got a supplies haul coming and I've got some collabs coming so watch out for them. My lips are so dry Um, I need some lip balm on them. I've decided to zoom a bit more so you can see my eyes so now I'm going to be taking the Zoeva 227 Lux Softer Finer um, and because and I will actually think I used this colour regular, this orange colour. I really like using orange on my eyelids because I feel like it makes my blue eyes like oh my god stand out. So I'm not really I'm not even that good at makeup so this is quite simple. So now I'm gonna be taking the colour this one here, can't really pronounce it, it's like gold. Uh, I've got me taking the 234 Lux Smoky Shader um, and putting that on the inner corner of my eyelids to brighten it up. I'm going to be blending that into the outer colour with the colour red. Actually, no, I'm going to use Venetian Red, I think that's what it's called, this one here. So I love using the glitter on my eyes and the glitter I'm going to be using is the Very M glitter, I absolutely love this one and this is just the glitter brush, it's actually body glitter in snow globe um, and the brush I use to apply this, what I actually do, I'm going to use my Colourpop brush um, and I'm going to take my setting spray which I forgot to use on my face because I'm having one of them days um, and I'll just spray the, br the brush in it and it picks up all the glitter. I'm not get any fallout because I've already done the foundation. And it transfers really nicely and it stays really nicely. And then I'm going to do mascara. But first I'm actually going to show you a little trick for fallout on your face. What you do is you get some sour tape, put it in your hands, like so. And you literally pick up the glitter off your face and this works absolutely amazingly so if you ever got fall on your face just get yourself some sour tape. I'm gonna kill my lashes um, and then I'm going to apply some mascara. I don't really have a special technique to how I do this, I probably should. What I'm gonna be using is a last, sens last sensational one but this is running out and I really like this one but I like trying new mascaras so let me know in the comments if there's any good mascaras that you really like. 
I'm gonna put my favourite recommendation and I'll give you a shout out on my Snapchat. I like to wait till it's dry and give it another coat of mascara. I'm really badly running out this mascara right I need to clean that up. Um, I'm gonna use a cotton bud to go under my eyes because it looks like I've just put a lot of black eyeliner under my eyes. So while that dries I think I'll do my under eye concealer so I'm just gonna be taking the same one I used to carve my eyebrows out. And then I'm going to do another coat of mascara. I don't know why, because there's not even any mascara in the tube. It's literally empty. I'll just put myself in the eye. Don't cry, don't cry. Don't I want to set my under eye concealer. And I actually <laughs> use talc. I probably should get some setting powder. But for now, talc does the job. Um, and just this beauty blender. This pink one from eBay. There's not even technique to this, so I just put talc under my eyes. While I wait for that to set, um, I'm going to do my contour. So I'm using the Anastasia contour kit and my Real Techniques contour brush. And I just like do a mixture of all three shades. As you can tell, this one's my favourite. Um, but sometimes I just like to mix them all together and do this. Just like sweep it away and blend it into my skin. So now um, I'm just going to be taking highlight and I like to use a liquid highlight. So what I'm going to be using is the Benefit High Beam. I just like the finish a liquid highlight gives. getting quite cold now my window's open and then I just actually use my finger to blend that in it's my Kiko powder this one's really good I like this one to finally set everything I'm taking my Urban Decay Chill um, setting spray and I actually used Emily's lip liner but the lip gloss that I used is actually over here so thank god I'm actually using the butter gloss because my lips are so dry right now I'm using the NYX um, butter gloss in Madeline and the shade is just like a really nice nude colour so that to <laughs> That's my brain, I don't think. <gasps> Just dropped my towel all over the floor. Oh my god, I'm going to have to clean that up. So that is it for my makeup look for someone in the city. I've just um, took my hairband out and straightened my hair a little bit. Um, I really hope you enjoyed. As you can tell, it wasn't too much makeup. I didn't like put up quite a lot on because obviously it was done in the car as well. But a lot of people that were cutting my makeup and asking me to film a look on it. So here it is. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, comment down below what videos you want to see and what more makeup videos you want to see because I haven't filmed some in quite a while. Um, bye, I love you a lot. Um, also my social medias will be on the screen. I like Snapchat vlogged, I put my loads of Instagram stories on so if you didn't see them and also I'll put my Twitter down below um, because loads of people have been tagging me in photos that we got together so if you do put a photo on make sure to tag me in it I'll be down below. Yeah, that's all I've got to say. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Take it slow, but it's not typical. He already knows that my love is fire. His heart was a star.